two, one. MDS, do we have ignition? We have a liftoff. It says it's Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe. Voyager 1, the legendary spacecraft launched by NASA in 1977, has once again defied expectations and performed what many are calling an impossible feat, stunning scientists and igniting awe across the globe. This aged pioneer, now venturing through interstellar space over 15 billion miles away from Earth, has managed to re-establish coherent data transmissions after months of inexplicable silence. It wasn't supposed to be possible. Not at this distance. Not after decades of harsh exposure to cosmic radiation. And certainly not given the spacecraft's age and dwindling power reserves. But somehow, it happened. Voyager 1 just did the unthinkable. And the implications are staggering. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The drama began when Voyager 1 stopped sending understandable data back to Earth. For months, NASA's engineers were met with a steady stream of gibberish, binary code that translated into nothing but static nonsense. Every attempt to communicate with the distant craft seemed futile. This wasn't just a technical hiccup, it was a full-blown crisis. Engineers feared that the spacecraft's flight data system, the lifeline that tells Earth about its health, trajectory, and sensor readings, had been irreparably corrupted. For a spacecraft billions of miles from home, with no capacity for in-person repair, this was tantamount to a death sentence. Then came the astonishing breakthrough. After painstaking efforts, ground teams managed to send a blind command, a shot in the dark designed to reset the corrupted system. And against all odds, Voyager 1 responded. Not only did it react, but it began transmitting coherent data again, as though the silence had never happened. It was as if the spacecraft had been nudged out of a coma by a whisper from Earth. The world of space exploration, stunned by what just occurred, found itself reckoning with a renewed sense of wonder. What makes this event so extraordinary is not merely the technical recovery, but what it symbolizes. Voyager 1 is functioning far beyond its intended lifespan. Originally built to last just five years for a tour of the outer planets, it has survived nearly half a century in the most hostile environment imaginable. It has weathered solar flares, cosmic rays, extreme temperatures, and the void of interstellar space. Each successful transmission from Voyager is akin to a voice calling back from the edge of forever, a beacon reminding us of human curiosity and perseverance. This recent revival wasn't just a technical marvel, it was a testament to the ingenuity of the team behind it. Communicating with Voyager 1 requires sending radio waves that take more than 22 hours to reach the spacecraft, and another 22 hours for a response. Every decision, every command must be calculated with almost impossible precision. The challenge is intensified by the fact that Voyager 1's memory and computing power are laughably primitive by today's standards. The entire spacecraft runs on an onboard computer with less capacity than a modern digital watch, Yet here it is, responding to commands, gathering data, and navigating the abyss. Beyond the impressive feat of repairing a spacecraft that's essentially alone in interstellar space, the implications of Voyager 1's return to functionality are far-reaching. The instruments on board, though aged, are still capable of measuring cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and other properties of the space beyond our solar system. Every byte of data returned by Voyager 1 offers insight into a region of space that no human or robot has physically explored. This is the frontier, the true deep space that lies outside the protective bubble of the sun's influence, known as the heliosphere. Voyager 1's resilience pushes the boundaries of what we thought was possible in space technology. It underscores how little we still know about long-term space exposure and the durability of engineered systems. If a spacecraft launched in the 1970s can not only survive but function and communicate after nearly five decades, it forces a reassessment of our assumptions about deep space missions. It expands the vision of future exploration, suggesting that with the right design and dedication, probes could journey not just to nearby planets, but across the galaxy over centuries. This miracle of endurance also has philosophical implications. Voyager 1 is carrying with it the famous golden record, a time capsule of Earth's music, greetings, and images intended for any intelligent life that might someday encounter it. The fact that it is still alive and speaking to us feels profoundly symbolic. 
It is humanity's longest reaching message in a bottle, adrift in a cosmic ocean, still tethered to its origin by the slimmest thread of communication. And now against all odds, that thread holds strong once more. The emotional gravity of the event cannot be overstated. Scientists and engineers who have spent their lives working on or studying Voyager 1 were visibly moved. Some had believed the mission was finally coming to an end. Instead, it has roared back to life. It's a reminder of how deeply we connect with our creations, especially those we send into the void. Voyager 1 is more than just a machine. It is a representative of human endeavor, curiosity, and optimism. Its revival rekindles a sense of purpose in the scientific community and beyond. Technologically, the event reveals the profound possibilities of remote diagnostics and repair, even when dealing with extreme constraints. This has real consequences for how future missions will be designed. Engineers now have proof that systems can be patched, rebooted, and revived even from unimaginable distances. That knowledge will inform how we build spacecraft for Mars, Europa, Titan, and even farther-flung destinations. The success with Voyager 1 becomes a blueprint for resilience and long-term survival in space. The implications also ripple into education and public interest. News of Voyager 1's resurrection captured global headlines and reignited public imagination. People around the world were reminded that we have a messenger exploring the space between stars. That sense of wonder, the realization that a piece of humanity is out there in the blackness, still active, still curious, has a galvanizing effect. It inspires young minds to dream of engineering, astronomy, astrophysics, and beyond. Voyager's story is no longer just history, it is unfolding before our eyes. The timing of this event is crucial as well. As agencies like NASA, ESA, and private companies prepare for ambitious missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, Voyager 1 serves as a living proof of what's achievable. It's an ancient yet active ambassador from an earlier era of space exploration, showing that bold dreams are not only possible, they can endure. The spacecraft becomes a bridge between the past and future, linking Apollo-era optimism with modern aspirations for interstellar travel. On a more abstract level, Voyager 1's comeback challenges our notions of distance and time. To receive data from an object over 15 billion miles away is to engage in a form of cosmic archaeology. Every bit of data it sends arrives from a point in space that light itself takes more than 22 hours to traverse. We are literally looking into the past. Yet the signals are real, the information fresh, the communication alive. It blurs the line between presence and absence near and far now and then. In its current state, Voyager 1 is operating on minuscule amounts of power, which will continue to decrease year by year. The spacecraft has already shut down some of its instruments to conserve energy, and yet the most crucial systems continue to operate. This recent event underscores that even as power wanes, the craft's ability to function and surprise us remains intact. It's like an old storyteller who, despite a fading voice, manages to whisper one last epic tale. Another profound aspect of this event is what it teaches about our relationship with space. For most of human history, the stars were distant and unreachable. Voyager 1 flipped that narrative. It is now not just an explorer, but a resident of interstellar space. The fact that we can still communicate with it speaks to the triumph of human intellect and aspiration. It's as if, in this vast and cold cosmos, we've found a way to keep a fragile thread of connection alive, proof that humanity can reach beyond its own cradle and make its presence known. The spacecraft's ability to return to functionality might also suggest a kind of mechanical willpower, a metaphor that's hard to ignore. Of course, there is no consciousness in Voyager 1, but its survival, its sudden clarity after confusion feels almost like a moment of redemption. There's something inherently human in that arc. From struggle to silence to resurgence, it resonates because we see our own stories in its journey. We falter, we get lost, and yet sometimes we find a way back. At a time when Earth faces countless challenges, climate crises, geopolitical tensions, societal upheaval, the story of Voyager 1 becomes more than just a scientific event. It becomes a beacon. It reminds us of what we're capable of when we commit to exploration and collaboration. Voyager wasn't launched by one person or one institution. It was the result of thousands of minds, countless hours, and a shared dream. Its endurance reflects our best qualities, perseverance, curiosity, and hope. 
as Voyager 1 continues its voyage through the galaxy. Its recent feat rewrites the playbook on what's feasible in deep space. It demonstrates that even in the face of overwhelming odds, there's room for the miraculous. And it calls out to us to keep listening, to keep exploring, and to never underestimate what we can achieve. The impossible has already happened. Now the question is, what comes next? But in this moment, as Voyager 1 once again whispers across the stars, the world stands in reverent awe. Not because a machine is working again, but because something born of Earth is still out there against every odd still speaking and still reaching for the unknown. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager 1's unexpected achievement? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.